Next naman is the octal number system. Sa octal number system, ito naman ay gumagamit or nag-consist ng uh, eight digits. Okay? So, ito yung 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, uh, walo ang mga digits na pwede natin gamitin. And then, kung papaano siya sinusulat, since ito ay gumagamit ng base 8, uh, meron tayong subscript na 8 para isulat ang mga octal number natin. So, 7, 5, 1, subscript 8, o kaya naman 2, 5, 6, subscript 8, and 32 subscript na 8. Okay? So, uh, katulad ng process na ginawa natin sa, bi uh, sa decimal at saka sa binary, sa octal number system, ay pwede rin natin makuha ang decimal equivalent ng mga values na ito. Dito sa table naman na ginagawa natin or pinapakita natin, is sa mga octal number natin is meron din equivalent binary number siya. Okay? At uh, meron din siyang equivalent na decimal number. So, ito yung mga uh, gagawin natin sa mga susunod na video para mas mapakita at makompute kung paano ba makukompute ang octal papuntang binary to decimal, so on and so forth. But for now, Patunayan natin na ang isang octal number ay may equivalent decimal number. At uh, gagawitin uli natin ang procedure na ginawa natin sa mga previous natin na video. Let's have an example. So, sa octal number system, ang decimal equivalent, again, is the sum of product of each digit with decreasing power of 8 naman. Okay? So, given ang octal number na 5 to 6, Isa-isa yung uli natin ng ating mga uh, digits. And then, uh, uh, kukunin natin ang sum of product of uh, each digit with decreasing power of 8 naman. So, 6 times 8 raised to 0, 2 times 8 raised to 1, 5 times 8 raised to 2. So, ang magiging value natin is 6. 16 and 320. So, i-add lang natin siya. 320 plus 16 plus 6 is 342 in decimal number. Okay? So, yung 526 octal number natin, ang equivalent niya sa decimal number is 342. Let's have another example. So, with the same procedure, isa-isahin natin ang ating mga uh, digits. So, we have 1, times 8 raised to 4 plus 4 times 8 raised to 3 plus 3 times 8 raised to 2 plus 7 times 8 raised to 1 and 2 times 8 raised to 0. So, ang values natin would be 4096 plus 2048 plus 192 plus 56 plus 2 the total uh, value would be 6,394 in decimal number. So, ang 14372 in octal number is equivalent to 6,394 in decimal number. Okay? Another example. So, we have 24.10 octal number. So, again, we have a fractional value here sa ating octal number. So, again, decreasing power of 8. So, that would become 2 times 8 raised to 1 plus 4 times 8 raised to 0. And then, yung ating fractional value, magiging na siyang negative, raised to negative values na. 1 times 8 uh, raised to negative 1 plus 0 times 8 raised to negative 2. So, ang value natin would become 6 plus 4 plus uh, 0.125 plus 0. And then, the total value natin ay 20.125 in decimal number. So, yung 24.10 in octal number is equivalent to 20.125 in decimal number. So, para ma-practice ninyo ang gamit 
ng ating uh, octal number system, meron ulit tayong exercise. Meron tayong tatlong given octal numbers na i-convert ninyo into uh, decimal equivalent. Katulad ng ating ginawa kanina, nagagamit kayo ng uh, sum product of the digits with a decreasing power of 